So during the presentation today, there was a moment about halfway through where one of my files crashed. It just felt like, oh my gosh, I'm losing them. <laughs> like I'm not showing anything, I'm not teaching anything, and the program's not working. So earlier this summer, I was invited to speak out at SIGGRAPH, the biggest computer animation conference in the world, out in beautiful Vancouver, Canada. I'd been giving talks now for the past three years, but this one was very special to me because this was my chance to give back to the motion design community, which I've learned so much from. So I wanted to make this the best presentation of my life. Leading up to the event, I was prepping and practicing my presentation, which should have been done weeks in advance. But as with many things in my life, I am just so obsessed with making things as good as they can be up until the last possible minute. This talk should have been easy. I should have done very well because I know my stuff. I've given presentations before, but in this particular instance, it felt like the universe was really testing me. It wanted me to fail. It's 4.33 a.m. I'm still exhausted, but there's so much to do. There's a couple things I have to get done this morning. This is one day before I leave. Finish cutting my reel. I have to prepare some C4D files, some demo files, and a keynote deck. Other fun thing, I gotta see if I could find my freaking passport. I applied for a passport a month ago. Where are my documents? It's just been stuck at the freaking post office. As soon as the post office opens, I gotta stop what I'm doing here, drive around town, make sure I go to the right post office and see if they have my dang passport. So that's that. So let me finish cutting my reel. I think the reel is good to go. Watch it a couple times. Smooth out little pieces. Make sure everything feels snappy. Hitting the beats where I want to and letting things right out where I can. I'm going to hit render on this guy and then I have to go to my other room where my PC is at. Hopefully not wake my wife and work on my 3D part of the presentation. So hopefully that goes well. system sucks it's one day left before I have to fly out to Vancouver that's international so I need my passport and it's stuck in the mail somewhere <sighs> hopefully this day goes all right I'm stressed out I'm super stressed out I gotta hurry up and hustle because I gotta get to the post office see if they have it there hopefully it's the right post office and then head to work because I have an 11 a.m. And I still have a little bit more to do when I get home later. But yeah, this is just all piling on top and it doesn't feel good. Okay, so showed up to the post office. It's open. But the area where I need to pick up my package, it doesn't open till 10 a.m. So I have about half an hour to kill. Hopefully we will be good and I'll still make it to work in our webinar on time. I came directly from the post office. I was sitting there for about an hour, but look what I got. Now finally I could rest a little bit easier because now I know at least my travel plans are good. Now I can just focus on my presentation, getting that all tight. All right. You all right. No, no, I gotta head home and do a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. All right, later guys. See ya. So one of the reasons why I had been working on the presentation so close to the event is because as a creative director, I spend most of my time just directing teams. I don't spend much time in the software, not like I used to back in the day. 
I had to shake off the cobwebs a little bit. I had to make sure that I felt like I was up to date and I knew my stuff. Up until the very last moment, I was just trying as hard as I can to prep my files and make sure that the demo that I was giving was solid. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle. Some of the passengers behind you can pass you, this will expedite our boarding process. So I guess we're here this week, like three blocks away from the hotel. Alright, it is Thursday, 6 a.m., three and a half hours before the presentation. I just woke up, I know I look like garbage right now, but I'm waking up early so I could do a couple more run-throughs of my presentation. Just make sure it's memorized up here. Make sure I'm solid. Um, but I'm a little worried because my voice is still very hoarse. <clears throat> Hasn't quite come back. I did a lot of talking last night, so I'm just worried that on stage my voice is gonna sound like crap. I'm gonna drink some hot tea with some honey. Just warm up my voice periodically uh, as we get closer to the event because I wanna make sure I have a nice, loud, presentable voice when I get up on stage. La. Uh, a little nervous. Nervous. Yeah, my stomach is uh, it's bubbling a little bit. It feels like it's really empty, but you know, you put food in there, you put caffeine in there, and then it just goes haywire. <laughs> That's how it feels. Right now. Part of it is uh, just more anxiousness than anything. It's like when you give a talk. Sure, there's the nervousness of are you going to do well, but it's just more about the excitement, I think, of finally releasing all of the tension. All the tension you have built up in your head, thinking about how it's going to go or if the message is going to be well received. All that stuff. I just want to deliver value. I just want to make sure that the audience gets something good. And I'm both excited and anxious and a little nervous about that. What's up, y'all? How's it going? Hey, hey. The Brograph boys. Making sure everything's running properly. Yeah. And on time. Yesterday was good. Uh, I don't know about on time. <laughs> <laughs> but good. And we were smooth. a little late yesterday, but we were smooth the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> I didn't notice, surely. That's good. That's yeah. good. Just copying over some, uh, some files. That's weird. It's a Mac keyboard on a PC. It's always fun to navigate. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? Good. You have a good night. That's what I like to hear. Ooh, yeah, good night, but uh, rough morning. That's, that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, first to go after the, the night before the end of the show. Yeah. Ooh, rough. I know. But I was like, he's a vet, he can take it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Uh, Sony? Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. So I'm, I'm on a Spider-Man. Oh, awesome. Were so, uh, you working with uh, Ty? We're here at the Maxon booth, makers of Cinema 4D, and today is the last day. And, you know, at the last day, you got to do this. We're streaming live on C4D Live. That's where you can register. And to start off the day, we have a new friend, but longtime community supporter, all the way from the future. <laughs> Matthew and Cena, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Matthias, for the, for the intro. Uh, I am Matthew and Cena. Uh, I've been a creative professional now for 15 years and working in the motion design industry for about 12 now. Um, I started off as a designer, got into animation. So I'm going to jump back into Cinema 4D. I want to make sure it feels like the sun is just about to come down on these two guys. If it wants to start. Oh, got a little crash. That's not fun. But it wouldn't be a presentation of mine if something technical didn't go wrong. So let me try and reopen up that guy. No big deal.
All right, hopefully it won't crash on us this time. It's still loading up. I'll drink a little bit of my tea while we're waiting. And we will send this to Rick. Sorry, Rick. Rick is in the back, so he'll, he'll get this. He probably emailed right to him. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't have done that because now, now it's trying to connect to the internet. It's going. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Uh, let me close that bad boy. Where are we? All right, let's try this one more time. That's my fault. That's user error. Okay, just as a refresher while that thing is booting up. We're trying to tell a story about a Western shootout. There's a bandit in town shooting up the place, and the cool, calm, and collected sheriff has to step in and set things straight. So let's see if this thing opened up properly. I will not send that this time. I'll just tell Rick manually after this. Here's our scene again, and I'm going to start pro-render. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It's compiling the shaders. Great. Perfect. Now it's not crashing. So you can see in real time what this render is going to potentially look like. It's a low sample, so that's why it's a little noisy. The way I created this, I just have a sky, a big HDRI that I downloaded online. That's it. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Maxon. And uh, thanks for waking up bright and early. I know it's not easy. <laughs> So I'm back from the event. Overall, SIGGRAPH was a pretty amazing experience. My presentation, yeah, there were some technical hiccups. Wasn't fun to deal with. It really tested me and tested my presentation skills. So far, the feedback I got, people said, oh, you know what, Matthew didn't even sound nervous at all. You seem to handle that like a pro, which is good because on the inside, you guys know, uh, I wasn't feeling that way. I was feeling pretty nervous. And that time, it just felt like time was stretching, you know? And every minute that my presentation wasn't on screen, it felt like an hour had gone by. So it, it really tested me, but you know, I recovered. Presentation turned out well and it's live now. So you guys can see that whole thing. For those of you guys who are giving your own presentation or talks, I have one bit of advice for you. Something will go wrong. Accept that. If you can accept all the faults and everything that's gonna go wrong, you're gonna feel way more comfortable in your skin. So if something goes wrong, just own it. You'll feel a lot better and uh, life goes on. It's not the end of the world. If something crashes, people are there to see you. People are there to hear what you have to say. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you like these style of vlog videos, which we don't do often on the channel, let us know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because it really helps us out. Till next time, guys.